Hi everyone, my name is TTJ Kepsi Richie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. In our last video on linear algebra and matrices, we talk about how to multiply a matrix by a scalar. We we'll also learn how to multiply a matrix by another matrix, 2 by 3 and 3 by 3. Today, before this video will end, we will learn how to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix and its application, as well as the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix and its application. So please come with me. So, when we have a 2 by, first we we'll start with the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So remember, we say a 2 by 2 matrix is a matrix having two entries in the row and two entries in the column. And it is a square metric for that matter. I know you are convenient with it by now. So now, to find a determinant, see, this will multiply this, minus this will multiply that. That is it. So we said the determinant of this matrix, this is how we write the determinant of a matrix A. It will be equal to C A times D, A D, minus C times B, B C. This becomes the determinant of this matrix. So, for instance, we have a matrix A to be equal to, let's say, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? I want to find the determinant of this matrix. The determinant, remember, is written like this. So, it will just be 2 times 5, 2 times 5, minus 4 times 3. 2 times 5 is 10, 4 times 3 is 12. 10 minus 12 is negative 2. So we say the determinant of this matrix is negative 2. So let's solve another question again. Say if matrix P is equal to 2 negative 3, 4 negative 1, find the, the determinant of P. This is determinant of P. So to find the determinant of P, it will be C 2 times negative 1 minus 4 times negative 3. 2 times negative 1 minus 4 times negative 3. 2 times negative 1, that will be negative 2. Negative 4 times negative 3, that will be plus 12. Negative 2 plus 12 is 10. So the determinant of this matrix is 10. Is 10. Now we'll look at the application of this. And I know you can do this. So we'll look at the application of this. So we'll look at the application of the determinant of a 2 by. Remember, this is determinant. So they say the determinant of this matrix is 4. Find x. Find x. So remember to find the determinant, this multiply this. So we say the determinant 3 will multiply x plus 1. Then minus 2 will multiply this. So 2 multiply 2x minus 1. And to be equal to 4. So we expand this to get 3x plus 3. This time this will be minus 4x plus 2. And to be equal to 4. We group like this, we get 3s minus 4s plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 4. 3s minus 4s is minus x. 3 plus 4 is 5 is equal to 4. So minus s is equal to 4 minus 5. Minus s is equal to minus 1. S is 1. S is 1. So this, uh, the value of S here is 1. We can find a matrix by substituting 1 into the place of X to find that matrix. So I hope you, you can do that. Try that on your own. Now we see another application on the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So there is another question here. They say if E is for a negative X, uh, the determinant of E is for a negative X, E is for a 2S, Minus e s to the negative s two e s to the two s is equal to three. Find x. Find x. So remember the determinant. This multiply this minus this multiply that. So what we get? We get e s to the negative x. We we'll multiply two e s to the two x. Then minus e s negative e s to the negative s times e s to the two s is equal to 3. What are we going to do? See, we are going to use indices to solve this. Indices, very, very important. So 
to get two indices says that when two uh, exponents are two indices are multiplying and the basis are the same, just add the exponent. So we get minus x plus two x. I hope you get that. So this will become plus. Remember, minus minus will be plus. Very very important. So we get e exponent negative x again plus our two s. It will be equal to three. Now let's simplify. What we have here, we have two e exponent x minus s plus two s will be x plus the same here e exponent s is equal to three. Now what is common? Two e, e, e exponent s is common, so we can bring it out. E exponent s out, we have two plus one is equal to three. So I have e exponent s times three. 2 plus 1 is 3, so we divide both sides by 3. So we have e exponent s is equal to 3 over 3. e exponent s is 1. Now, we have to rewrite this equation so that we can get the value of s. And remember, any number to the exponent 0 is 1. Any number to the exponent 0 is 1. So we can write this one as b e exponent 0. Yes. So, if we have e exponent s is equal to 1, we can say e exponent s is equal to e exponent 0. And this e exponent 0 will be 1. And remember, in indices, when the bases are the same, we equate the exponents. So the bases are the same. So our s is 0. That's the value of s. Very easy. Very easy. I hope you get a concept. The next thing we'll do is that we'll try to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. Very interesting one. So the next thing is that we'll try to find a determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. Uh, this one, it doesn't look straightforward like a 2x2, two two, but we are going to borrow the idea of the 2x2 two two as well. So remember this very well. You see, we use something called plus, minus, plus, and this is minus, plus, minus, and plus, minus, plus. You choose what is convenient to you. However, I always advise my students and anybody I, I teach to choose the first one. So that that will be in your mind. Anytime you meet a question, you can easily solve it. So, we will just use the first one. What does it mean? It means that the first value here should be positive. Or how it is, it will be so. This will be negated. Then this will be positive as well. So take it very well. So we said the determinant of this matrix A will be equal to, look at it, it's positive. So we just bring the A. Then the determinant of what is not under the A, that is what is under the other values, the B and the C. That's E, F, G, I. I hope you get that. Take A positive. Then the determinant of what is not under the A and what are not under the A, that's E, H, F, I. They're under the B and the C. The determinant of that. Then minus O minus B. What again? The determinant of what is not under the B, that's D, G, F, I. So we have D, F, G, I. The determinant of that. Then, plus C. Then the determinant of what is not under the C. So we say if we pick A, the determinant of what is not under the A. So what is not under the A is E, H, not J. E, H, F, I. Minus B. Then the determinant of what is not under the B. That is what is under A and C. D, G, F, I. D, F, D, F, G, I. So D, F, G, I. Then we pick C. Then the determinant of what is not under the C. That's D, E, G, H. Let me take that once again so that I get it. So positive, uh, we say plus minus plus. Just keep it. Plus minus plus. So we take positive first. So when we take A, the determinant of what is not under the A. So we close all this. The determinant of this, that's E, F, 
HI, EF, HI. Now we come to B, so minus, minus B. Then the determinant of what is not under the B. So that's D, G, F, I. D, G, F, I. When we take the C, the determinant of the value that is not under the C, that's D, E, G, D, E, G. We take a sample question, you know how we apply this. So we we'll take a sample question on the 3 by 3 and see how we can solve it. Remember, when you take this, the determinant of what is not under it. When you take this, the determinant of what is not under it. And this is the determinant of what is not under it. Then, plus minus plus. Very, very important. So, the determinant of A will be equal to. So remember, it's plus minus plus. So 2 will be the positive. The determinant of what is not under these two. So that's 0, 0, 4, 1, 5. 0, 4, 1, 5. I hope you get that. Then, remember minus. So minus. Negative 3. Here is negative 3. Then the determinant of what is not under the negative 3. So this will not come. You have 2, 1, 1, 5. 2, 1, 1, 5. Then plus. Plus 1. Then the determinant of what is not under the 1. What is not under the 1? 2, 1, 0, 4. 2, 1, 0. Now I find the determinants. So 2, remember to find the determinant. This multiply this minus this multiply that. So 0 multiply 5 minus 4 multiply 1. Then this will be plus 3. Remember that. Negative, negative will be positive. So then 2 times 5 minus 1 times 1. Then plus 1. 2 times 4. Minus 1 times 0. 2 times 4 minus 1 times 0. So we simplify that. 2. Remember 0 times 5 is 0. Then minus 4 times 1 will be minus 4. Then plus 3. 2 times 5 is 10. 1 times 1 will be minus 1. So let's go. Plus 1. 2 times 4 is 8. Then 1 times 0 is 0. It doesn't have any effect on it. So this multiply this will get minus 8. Okay, let's try to simplify first. 2 times minus 4 plus 10 minus 10 minus uh, 1 will be 9. 10 minus 1 will be 9. Then plus 1 times 8. So we simplify this. 2 times minus 4 will be minus 8. 3 times 9 will be 27. Then 1 times 8 is 8. Look at this. Minus 8 plus 8 is 0. So our determinant will be nothing but 27. So the determinant of this matrix is 27. I, I hope you get that. We'll solve one more question on this so that you get a concept. So we'll solve another question on this. They say if A is this matrix, find a determinant of A. You can pause the video. Try to pause the video and see if you can find an answer to this. I know you will do it. I believe in you. Now compare our answers with mine. So we say the determinant of A will be, we pick 2, the determinant of what is not under the 2, 4, 3, 5, 4. See, 4, 3, 5, 4. It's not under these 2. Then, remember it's plus, minus, plus. Very, very important. So minus 3. Then the determinant of what is not under the 3 is this 18254. Then this is plus, so plus 2. Then the determinant of what is not under this 2. So 1, make 2, and 4, 3. Very, very important. Now we find a determinant and simplify. So 2, 4 times 4, minus 3 times 5. 4 times 4, minus 3 times 5. Minus 3, 1 times 4. Minus negative 2 times 5. See, 1 times 4 minus negative 2 times 5. Then, plus 2, we go. 1 times 3. Then, minus negative 2 times 4. So, we we'll simplify this. We we'll get to 4 times 4 is 16. 3 times 5. Is 15 minus 3. 1 times 4 is 4. Then, see, 
negative 2. See, this, there is negative here. So this negative will be positive. Negative times negative will be positive. So 2 times 5 will be 10. 2 times 5 will be 10. Now plus 2, 3. Remember, this one will be positive. So plus 2 times 4 will be 8. We simplify and multiply 2. 16 minus 15 is 1. 3. 4 times 10 is 14. Plus 2. 3, times, uh, 3 plus 8 is 11. It's 11. Now we go 2 times 1 is 2. Now 14 times 3. 28 plus 14. 8 plus 4 is 12. So 2 remainder 1. So that will be 42. So minus 42. Then 2 times 11 will be 22. I hope you get that. Negative 42 plus 22 will be negative 20. So 2 minus 20 will be negative 18. Will be negative 18. So we said that our determinant of that matrix is negative 18. I hope you, you get that. You get that. We'll look at one more application on this so that we take it from there. So the next step, we are going to apply the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix to solve this. They say, if this is this, if the, this, the determinant of this matrix is 49, we should find the value of x. So we are going to use the same concept. Remember plus minus plus. So we go, the determinant will be 2 the determinant of what is not under the 2. So 0, x, negative 1, 5. I hope you get that. So remember plus, minus, plus. This will be minus. So minus the 3. The determinant of what is not under the 3. So 2, 1, negative 1, 5. Then remember this is also plus. So plus 1. The determinant of what is not under the 1. So 2, 1, 0, x. I hope you get that. So we go two bracket zero times five is zero minus x times negative one. Very important. Remember this will be plus three. Two times five is ten. Minus one times this negative one. Very, very important. Plus one. Two times x will be two x. Times one minus zero will be minus zero times a minus 1 times 0 will be minus 0. So now we simplify off. This will be x minus x times negative 1 will be x. Then plus 3 times 10. Uh, minus 1 times negative 1 will be plus 1. So 10 plus 1. Then plus 1. This, remember this is equal to 49. It's given to us. So we equate it to 49. Then times 2x equal to 49. So let's see if I will get 2s plus 3 times 11 plus 2s is equal to 49. Now we go 2s, 3 times 11 will be 33 plus 2s is equal to 49. We group light times. We group light times. So we get 2x plus 2s is equal to 49. Minus 33. 2s plus 2s is 4s. 49 minus 33 is 16. We divide both sides by 4. Our s is 4. I hope, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. Please try to solve more questions on this. We'll end it here today. The next time we meet, we'll look at more uh, about uh, matrices again. Until then, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit on the notification bell so that if I post a video, You'll be the first to receive it. Bye-bye.